Welcome to a tutorial on Unity 2023. So, so far in this series, we've been building on our knowledge of how Unity works. We've looked at how we can select game objects over here in the hierarchy view. And when we do that, we can examine their components over here in the inspector view. And we now are beginning to understand how depending on the game object, it might have very different components. For example, when we first started this project, we had the main camera and it's got a particular component called camera. When we selected a sprite and we called a square here, we have a sprite renderer and we know that render or rendering is just a word that means drawing to the screen. So we now we have two different game objects as part of a scene. And we learned in a previous video, a scene is just how Unity divides up a project. We have a bunch of different scenes, just like we might have in a play or a musical. And in the future, we'll talk about how we move between them. So we have a single scene called sample scene up here at the top, we see on the left-hand side, as well as two different game objects, main camera and square. So let's go ahead and add another game object. So this time, instead of using this menu up here, I'm gonna go over here in a hierarchy, click plus, come down to 2D object over the sprites, and this time I'm gonna add a circle. And so notice it defaulted right here the circle, and if I click over here, we have a main camera, square, and circle. Now with circle selected, I'm gonna move circle over here to the right-hand side, and of course, notice how its position over here changed as well. So for square, I'm gonna come over to Sprite Renderer, its component within the inspector view, come down to color, and I'm gonna click on this white right here. And what I'm gonna do is change it over to red. So within this square, drag it over, or we can drag around the circle if we want, or if we know the color, we can type it in. So I'm just gonna drag it over here to the far right-hand side, and now we have red and enclose this little window. I'm gonna come over here to circle, come over to its components within the inspector view under Sprite Renderer, go over to color. This time I think perhaps something in yellow. So let's drag first around the circle color wheel over here, and now we have bright yellow. So notice I didn't have to write any code. I just selected the game object, which we know is just a collection of values and they have components, came over to the inspector view, clicked on some drop down menus and changed some things. So as we start to do things in Unity, we will build in complexity. I will move us towards code, but many of the things we do is just clicking on different things, drop down menus, changing values, and often we're moving between the hierarchy view and the inspector view. So as we're making that transition from the left-hand side to the right-hand side of the screen, we notice things changing in the middle. We now learned from a previous video, this is the scene view and shows us what's currently in the scene. And this kind of white box shows us within what is contained within the main camera. And we know that because if we jump over to the game view, we notice we have right here, our yellow circle and red square. So, we have these and we can add these. And if we want, we could add even more game objects. Well, we wanna do something with them. And the do something with them part means we're gonna have to start to think about code. So to think about code, we're going to need a new component. And we'll remember that we add components or we work with components as part of the inspector view. So for the game object that we want to add a new component to, we select it over here in the hierarchy view. So I'm going to select square. That's the game object I want to work with. Come all the way over to the right hand side under the inspector view and its current components. And I'm going to click on this button down here called add component. And there are lots of possible components we might add. And the reason why there are so many is because there's lots of different systems in Unity. Remember part of the reason why it has components, why Unity has components within it, is to break up the amount of information. Instead of giving every game object everything that's going on, it allows game objects to set up components to subscribe to different systems. So if we want information from those systems, we need a corresponding component. So lots of different possible components. But what I'm interested in is way down at the bottom in something called new script. And I'm gonna click on this, and then I'm gonna click inside this thing for the name. And I'm gonna call this square. And then I'm gonna click create and add. And it's gonna do two things immediately. The first is it's gonna run that little box right there and it says, hold on. And what that did is it created a new component as part of this game object. 
called square right here and in parentheses script. The parentheses script tells us and other people looking at this that it's part of something called a scripting component. A scripting component is very special because it allows us to write code to talk to the game object. Now, it can be a little confusing if you've had previous experience with other game engines or other programming environments. When we talk about game objects in Unity, we're talking about a collection of values, a collection of components. One of those components will be our code. So our code's not the object itself, it's a component as part of that object. And that's gonna be important when we start to talk about how we write code. Because we won't be working on a game object, we'll be working, working from the point of view as a component, talking to our sister components about what to do about the information they're getting from other systems. So that'll be an important thing to consider. And I said two things were happening. So let me rewind a little bit. I mentioned we were adding a new component in parentheses script, and that exists right here. Something else happened at the exact same time. Something over here in this section of the user interface. So as we've been kind of moving around, I started us all the way over here in the hierarchy view. We looked at the various game objects. We've gone from main camera and we've added more game objects as part of a scene. Scene's just a collection of game objects. And now moving left to right, we've moved from the hierarchy view to the scene view, what's currently within the scene. And of course we can go over to the game view, what the player would see, and we can look at the inspector view. So we've got kind of three things up here at the top. The kind of second half with the default layout of Unity is something called the project view. The project view is kind of everything else. Anything having to do with files, so images or videos or all kinds of other things that we might have are part of the project. So these are the project view or what's in the project, the files themselves. So what was just created when I asked it to add a scripting component was a new file. So this file over here is called square. And if I click on it, notice in the inspector view, it shows me information about it. Now it doesn't have any components, so they're not listed, but it shows me information about that thing right there. It also has what looks like kind of a hash on it. This is actually a reference to the programming language used with Unity as part of 2023 called C Sharp. C Sharp is a programming language created by Microsoft in which it allows us to write code and use various code rewrite to affect things. Within Unity, the C Sharp code allows us to write programming that affects other components within a game object. So I have a file right here called square and it has a little hash symbol, which we'll call a sharp, so the sharp symbol, that tells me that this is a programming something. And it's part of the project view. Now, I wanna point out something important. Over here in the kind of the left-hand side of the project view, it says favorites, all materials, all models, all prefabs, and these are all terms we'll come to learn much longer down the road, and something called assets. And then under that is something called scenes. Now, it's kind of hard to see perhaps, but it's a folder icon next to assets, and it's a folder icon next to something called packages. What this tells us is that it is a folder within the project. Put another way, if we were to look at all of these files outside of Unity, we would find there is a folder called assets. And within that assets folder is another folder called scenes, which actually is what we see right here, assets and scenes. In fact, if I double click to open up scenes, we will see we have something called sample scene, which is what we're looking at. We're currently looking at sample scene right here. And so if I go over here and click on assets, we see scenes and then square. So as we start to add new files, and we will do that in future videos, anytime we're working with a file, we're working with the project view. So finally, now we have a understanding of the entire layout. We have the hierarchy view, our current game objects within the current scene, our scene view showing, every, showing us how the various game objects are arranged in relation to each other, the game view showing us what a player might see, and the inspector view showing us the corresponding components for game objects or the information about the file if we've got files selected in the project view. Notice though that we're moving from left to right, a kind of left to right workflow. We're either selecting files within the project view and looking at their information, or we're selecting game objects in the hierarchy view and looking at their components in the inspector view. So a left to right workflow as we're kind of moving across this application 
and of course moving back again to select a new file or corresponding to select a new game object. So we're moving across the inter user interface from one thing to another, moving from left to right. So having said all that, let me review a little bit what I've said in this video. So we know we have scenes, which is how Unity divides up a project. It has a bunch of different scenes, similar to like a play or a musical. Within those scenes, we have a collection of different things, and we call them game objects within Unity. Each game object has different components corresponding to what systems it needs information from. And we can think of that as kind of subscribing to those systems, right? Like you might subscribe to a YouTube channel or subscribe to a podcast, or whatever. You're getting information from some other source. So different systems give us information corresponding to the component that matches the system. And so we've seen now main camera. It has a camera component that gets information from the camera system. The square and circle are sprites, and so they have the sprite renderer. And of course, rendering is just a word that means drawing to the screen. And we notice we can change its colors. So by clicking on the game objects in the inspector view, we can change corresponding information about it by selecting what component we want. And then under those categories, literally opening and closing drop down menus and selecting colors. No programming so far at all. But as we prepare to move to programming in a future video, one of the things we need to be made aware of is that there's a special type of component called a scripting component. And we will know it when we see it because in parentheses, it will say the word script. So we saw I had square collected or square uh, selected that is over here in the inspector view. I clicked add component, scrolled to the bottom, clicked new script, added a name, then click create and add. And this added a new component right here based on the name I told it, and then in parentheses, script. When that happened, it also created a file down here in the project view. And then we started to discuss uh, what the project view does, which just allows us to look at files. We'll look at all kinds of different files, potentially image files or whatever we want, to, whatever else we want to add. So here, it automatically created a programming file, which we'll look at in a future video, to then allow us to change code to talk between components. Because we need to always remember when we're working in Unity, we're not working directly on a game object, we're working from the point of view of one component talking to other components because it is a scripting component. And that will be important when we return in a future video to look at how that programming works. But at least for right now, we're starting it into adding multiple game objects, moving from that left to right pattern from the text view, across from the scene view, over into the inspector view, and now incorporating the project view, moving across all of these different views as we start to consider what exists within a scene, how we might in future videos think of multiple scenes in an extended project, adding those game objects, accessing their components, changing their values, and as we will add very soon, starting to think about how code fits in this picture. How will we use code to communicate between components and start to program more things? Because we want some interactivity. But to get to that interactivity, we need to understand all of these concepts in concert with each other within Unity 2023. Thanks for watching.